What is up, guys? It is the OG here. And today, <clears throat> now, what are we doing? The first Quant Strike Beyblade video I ever done. These are the first two Quant Strike Beyblades that I ever had. So, first up, we're just actually, let me show you what ones I got. In the Christmas unboxing, I got both Zeal Nidhogg and Zeal. Achilles. I got two zeals. Well, the two zeals that are out. I'm not sure if there's any more coming. So I got Zeal Nidhogg, which is an attack type, and Zeal Achilles, which obviously is a bounce type. And it also this one also comes with the Quant Strike launcher. That's kind of sad. I'm getting the Quant Strike launcher before I'm getting the Quant Drive launcher. But that is weird. Anyways, let's start off with Zeal Nidhogg. So yeah, it's pretty much the same stuff as Quad Drive 4 in 1, but gimmicks are a little bit different. This is a left spin. Actually, both of these are left spins. Yeah, Z Achilles surprisingly is not dual spin. It's left spin. Left spin only. So yeah, 7 attack, 0 burst, 9 defense, 9 defense. Oh, okay. The attack is higher than the defense. That's weird. Um, eight. Wait. Agility four and nine stamina. So high stamina and high defense. Even though it's an attack type. Hasbro doing Hasbro stuff. And for Zeal. Oh yeah, when it switch. When both of these switch, actually both of these become defense types. But for Zeal, attack is 6, 0 burst. Defense is 10. That's really high defense. Void is 8. Agility 6. And stamina is 7. So we'll have to do. Let's just unbox the one that I'm well, at least excited for. Zeal Nidhogg. And this is a really, really small box. But it is taped really well. Jeez, that is some strong tape. Yeah, this is like this, it, like the exact same package as Quash Drive. And I... Okay. That's different. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. So let's start from the bottom up since these parts already came out. So the disc is Sequex. This is the disc that comes with Magma and Fritter. So, yeah, I never had this disc, so I'm glad to have it. The core tip is, looks like it is Mobius. So obviously that's a defense. And the attachment is this. We don't know the name of these attachments, one thing is for sure that this is not a defense type attach or actually never mind this is the defense type this is for sure an attack type attachment look at that white flat look at wow that is a flat attachment right there so i'm not sure what stadium to use these in because i don't have the Quad Strike Stadium as of yet. I don't even have the Quad Drive Stadium. But yeah, so now let's get the layer out of the plastic. Layer. Yeah, out of the tissue paper. And whoa. You want to know what this color scheme reminds me of? Look, hold on. This color scheme actually almost looks like if I can find this. Where is it? I know I had a Beyblade, another Beyblade in that color scheme. Oh, here it is. Kind of reminds me of Demise at Tomb a little bit. Can y'all see the resemblance? Like the exact same orange and the exact same silver. Yeah. So this is Zeal Nidhogg. Left spin. 
here. So this is a new armor. I never had this one. I'm pretty sure this is 10. And Zeo Nidhogg. Let's take it apart. Parts this way. Here's a Nidhogg chick. Oh, not chick. Chip. And it does work the same as quad drive with the low and high mode. But actually, I'm thinking it goes the, yeah, it goes the other way since it's left spin. So yeah, that's high mode. Let's put it back. And this, let's assemble the actual, actually before it was okay, let's get the quad drive they played out, or the quad drive they played out, to show you the comparisons. So, this is a quad strike bay blade, and this is a quad drive bay blade. So, they're basically the same thing. The attach, you can put a quad strike attachment or you could put a quad drive attachment on a quad, dr quad strike driver, which means you can also put a quad strike attachment on a quad drive driver because the grooves are basically the same. So you don't really have to worry about these two not being compatible with each other because they are actually are compatible with each other. So here is the combo. Why is this not? Oh, it's a left spin. Forgot. Keep forgetting. So this is Zeo Nikog, Sequex, Mobius, and whatever armor flat for the tip. Anyways, let's go on to the main attraction, Zeo Achilles. And maybe I will get more quad strikes in the future. Because I did get that gift card. So I might get Fierce Achilles, Kerbius, uh, Basilisk, and Poseidon as well. Oh, let's open it up. Again, with the strong tape. Oh! Nope, don't want to reveal the surprise. Don't want to reveal it. It's a new generation. Okay, it's bigger. I expected it to be bigger. Alright. So, can you please? Whoa. Oh, everything just fell out. Oh, yeah, let's look at the quad strike instructions. Let's see if it's any different than the quad strike. think not a lot changed besides maybe the launcher yeah look it still shows the quad strike the quad drive stadium so yeah not a lot has changed there but anyways let's go on to zeal actually first off let's check out this launcher okay it's another green launcher. Was not really a big fan of a of the green. It could have been a different color. And here is the rip cord. It is black again. Feels completely different compared to other launchers. Actually, let's just. Switch it to left spin and test it out with this. See if it has good power. Okay, it does have some good power. But yeah, this is only one quad strike launcher, so maybe in the future I'll get more and we can use quad strike launchers or quad strike base. So let's 
go on with the Achilles. This is Giga. I've never had Giga. But yeah, it's obviously a Hasbro Giga, so it's going to be hollowed out and it's going to be lighter. And here is the tip and the armor tip. The driver and the armor tip. This driver is... Oh, it's massive! Okay, so it is a defense type. But... Oops. But I think they gave it... Yeah, they gave it the semi-flat treatment. So it's going to move a little bit. But also, this is supposedly a balance type. But it looks exactly like Nidhogs. They're both flat. That's a bit weird. What if Z Achilles isn't more aggressive than Nidhogg is? That'd be strange. Anyways, let's take out Z Zeal Achilles. Whoa, look at this. So yeah, we got both of the zeals that are out. Oh my goodness. What? It comes with the exact same... Oh my goodness. Yeah, it comes with the exact same armor too. As Nidhogg. That is strange. So we've got both of the zeals and both of them come with the same armor. That's... Okay, I was hoping for a different armor. But yeah, look at this red, the original zeal. So it is a left spin. You got a red, nice red. Look at look at the Achilles chip right there. That looks really nice. Alright, high mode. There you go. Now let's put it back. All right now, let's assemble it. Is this is Zeal Nidhog and Zeal Achilles? Now, since we have two Quad Strike Beyblades and two Quad Strike Beyblades, why don't we battle Quad Strike versus Quad Drive? Right, so we're gonna go Zeal Nidhog versus Zeal or uh, versus Magma Rock Devour. And Gilded Baldorov versus Zero Achilles. But what stadium should we put it in? I mean, you know, since these Beyblades sort of remind me of the Hypersphere Beyblades, we're going to use the Hypersphere Stadium or the Vertical Drop Stadium again. This is where we get the, yeah, the Christmas Beyblade battles. So, yeah. Actually, first, let's test out these two Beyblades. First up, Zeal Nidhogg in Core Plus. We got three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the right stadium for them. Like, where, where do I put these? Let me test something. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna use this stadium for now. Sex opposing me. Yeah. Wait. Mid on. Oh, he fell off. Yeah, that sequex disc like there. Oh. 
Oh, there it goes again. All right. Let's test out Achilles now. Should be the same thing. Okay, I think we need... I'm just gonna test out stadiums off camera to see if which stadium is best for the quad strike Beyblades. Or the ones I have now, come on. Oh, come on. Hate when launches do that. Okay, not sure about the Storm Stadium. What about uh, Slingshot? Oh, you know what? Slingshot is actually pretty good. So we're going to use Slingshot. Check this out. Not too bad. Quad Strike's actually doing not too bad in a Slingshot Stadium. All right, let's battle these two. Achilles versus Nidhogg. Three, two, actually wait, no. The launcher came with Achilles, so we're gonna use Achilles with Quad Strike Launcher. Nidhogg. Use the Pro Series launcher. Pro Series launcher doesn't work. Yes, not. What the heck? Oh, that's why it's not working. Because it's. Um, come on. I failed there. All right, here we go. gonna be Achilles for the win. Nice to see a new Achilles in action. Oh! Oh! That was a big hit for Nidhogg and Nidhogg gets the win. Now, let's do Quant Drive versus Quant Strike. Hey. First up, Magma Loctivore versus Nidhogg. Azeal Nidhogg. Let's launch Magma Loctivore first. Gonna get some head on collisions. Opposite spin. Oh, I think that was a draw. There you go. Finishing Magma Rock to Wall. Some statement. That was a statement victory from Nidhogg up there. Wow. These are some good battles, actually. I'm surprised. Winner! Another draw. Alright, last battle. Then we'll switch to Achilles versus Balderall.
Oh no. Nibhog lost all his energy. Oh, another draw. We gotta do another one. These two are neck and neck. Finish from the middle. And there is the tr absolute trash burst resistance of quad drive being shown. Quad strike definitely has better burst resistance. Because look, Nigha did not even slide. Look, he's barely sliding. Yeah, quad strike definitely has better burst resistance. Again, to one letter. Bowderov. Whoa! And Zeal Achilles. The newest Hasbro Achilles. Shoot, wait, I still have those. I put those in the garbage. Achilles barely got that win. Oh no! Achilles! Achilles went too crazy and he ringed himself out. Battle off with the ring out finish. Put both of these in core mode. Both Achilles and Midhog. Just to see what they can do in core mode. They're probably going to perform way drastically different. But both of these are defense types. But the Mobius does. But both of these do have the semi flat treatment. So. Not sure how these are going to perform. Is Achilles going to even assemble? That took a little bit. Right, Achilles, Nidhogg. Oh my god, come on. 
Ow! Ow! Oh! That hurt. That was probably Sequex. A lot more combo value. And it will be Achilles that wins it. Look how aggressive Midhawk is. Even on defense mode. This time, Achilles goes down, Midhawk wins. All right, final battle of the video. Oh, big hit by Achilles. Or big knockback, I should say. Please. Oh, Achilles goes down again. Mayhog will win the final battle. Anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you guys for watching, but hold on. We still have... I still have one more thing I want to do. Put these in extras. Still have one more thing. That we should do. Boom. Look at that. Here we go. That's the final thing. We're just going to do one of each. So Midhog now becomes a defense type. And Achilles now becomes an attack type. And yeah, so here we go. This is not really part of the video. This is just two extra battles let's see who wins come on Achilles oh my god oh my god Oh wow, that's a surprise, Achilles won that, now, final battle. Okay, I don't think Yodorak can handle being on Achilles' tip. Here we go. And it will be magma locked in there. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.